Over the years, we've amassed a $30 billion backlog in maintenance needs for our roads and our transit systems. We've racked up a $24 billion backlog at state facilities like the Crime Lab and at educational institutions like our universities. Our infrastructure funding levels have run so low that we're in danger of losing federal funds because leaders of the past didn't make the required commitment to meeting people's basic transportation needs. As a result of the neglect, the people of Illinois have been paying an enormous price. The delays on the way to work cost you money. The congestion that makes it harder for you to pick up your kids on time at school costs you valuable family time. And on average, families are paying more than $500 per year per vehicle just in car repairs, not to mention hundreds of dollars a year in depreciation from the wear and tear when our roads are pocked with potholes and hazards. Nearly half of our state's high school graduates leave Illinois for colleges in other states, in part because our university's buildings and facilities are crumbling. When big swaths of our state have no high-speed internet, we miss the opportunity for new businesses and jobs in areas of the state that badly need it. The problems we face are the result of years of disinvestment and passing the buck, but not this year. This year, Democrats and Republicans, many of them standing behind me today, came together to say enough is enough. Together, we passed the largest, most robust capital plan in state history, and we did it in the very best traditions of our democracy, a bipartisan commitment to better the lives of all of our people.